it's Tuesday the 10th. Well, I'm saying morning, it's dinner time. I always do that, don't I? I did get up early this morning. I got up at half past eight because I've been released. <laughs> Phil's uh, timer on his app went down and he said from midnight last night we were fine. He's not shown any symptoms at all, neither have I. So thankfully, uh, we seem to have come unscathed from that. And it was just precautionary, which is what we hoped for anyway. Um, so we've been released. So we went to uh, take the parcels and then we've, I'm trying to prop you up, because uh, my arm, and then we've been to McDonald's drive through for breakfast, so that was good. I'm just doing drafts at the minute uh, for the early learning centre and then I'm, uh, I'm also at the same time uploading some sales that I picked, uh, so it's a picking video, but I'm going to put on what I actually paid for it and what they sold for, so it's actual figures. Uh, then I've got to upload these snippets. I've got sausage casserole in the oven for tea already. Uh, I've done... Um, what else have I done today? Oh, I've done the post. Yeah, so I'll come back when I've done my drafts. This, uh, these drafts done here, I've got uh, 19 in total. I just do one and then click on it and you can create a copy. So I've created lots of copies in there. It keeps coming up as an airy message, so don't keep doing it because when you look, it has actually done it. Um, so I've realised that uh, I've done some and they're on auction, some are fixed price, and they're all going to be fixed price on this. So I'm just going to bulk edit. Uh, there's a lens, I'm not doing that in a minute. Uh, Lone of early dog. Clip on earrings. So I've got 16 of these. So uh, resume drafts. Uh, add at least one photo. Oh, I bet you're not even going to let me do it to you till I put a photo in. Perhaps they will. Let's have a look. Um, edit fields, um, format and duration. Change to fixed price. Uh, yeah. Um, I didn't have duration on, did it? Hmm. Perhaps it's decided it is going to have them all as good till cancelled these days. When you do an edit, it usually asks you. Again, it's got three and five day option on, which is a bit strange. Uh, prices, I'll do them all individually. Um, anything else? No. Most. The condition. Uh, I wonder if it'll save these now. Editing bulk one at a time. No, I just want to change. Why well, can't I move across? Will that move across? Yes. Oh, price is right. So I can put my prices in here. Astronauts and figures will do. Uh, let's see, three, five figures. Um, I'm going to go for a price that I can alter later if I need to. Uh, the carriage force and figures. No. Oops, not 89. No, 9.99. Uh, farmhouse tractor, there's quite a big bundle on that one. So I'm going to go 17. Um, around the world lot. I've got to try and remember how many there is now. Uh, so we'll go for... These will all be plus postage. 
Uh, I've got a big lot which I'll uh, make that one. Uh, and this. And if I can change that there, I can. Work. Oh, it's not doing it. Oh, good. What's wrong with you? Well, have you saved that? Yes, you have. Um, Jim Corner Horse Trailers and Figures. We'll go for a eight ninety nine on that. Same on them because they're only little um, little cars. Post office and van. Um, Thirteen ninety nine because there's the post box in there as well. Um, Fourteen ninety nine on a Dipsy Caravan. Eighteen pound. Should we make it a ninety nine? On that. Uh, Wish transporter usually sells quite well, but it has only got two cars with it, so I'll go for uh, 13 99 on that one. Um, and oh, the zoo now, the zoo's a big bundle, um, so I'm gonna go for that. So if I save and continue later. Yeah, that's done a good job that. I've got them all as fixed price, good till cancelled. Price is in there. That's in there. It says the used. So um, what I'll do when I... Let's have a look on this one. What I'll do when I list on this one then is I'll copy that. Down. I'm just double checking everything's right. It's place that's called Young Children Preschool. Yeah. Um, so I'll put that into there. Um, what's that? So that's what I'll do with them all. Um, I will put a weight in there when it comes down to it. I'm not going to boost them as yet. Uh, I'll save that draft. So that's it. So that's how I'm doing it all. What time is it? 17.10. Okay, I've got to go and put potatoes on for sausage casserole. So I will see you in a bit. Get the music on. Does me me uh, one session of getting out of breath a day, uh, which I have to do really. <laughs> I don't do it often enough, but yeah, because once I've done it, I need to sit down. Sorry if you're going dizzy. Um, so I'm just going to. Uh, they're all nice and clean, but I've got the other two uh, with photographs in, so. I so thought I'll clean them and then I'll go and sit down. Oh, sorry, that were a bit of that was and forwards, weren't it? I'll go and sit down with my cup of tea and get them two on and then come back to this tomorrow. So, delivery. <laughs> I buy five rolls at a time. 
What was it for? Well, I can't really remember now. Uh, hold on a minute, hold on. I think I've bought wrong one. Oh, pants. Uh, no, I've ordered the right. Pack 5 bubble wrap large. 300 millimeter by 50 meter. And what they've actually sent is split three times 500 millimeter. Um, great. Which means I can't haul these into the blooming loft. Uh, A, because I've got to message them first and tell them what they've done and see what they want to do about it. I don't fancy sending these back. Um, however, this width doesn't go in that width. So it means unravelling a load. Oh, God. It's always summit. Well, there's two reasons I buy 300 mil. It's so it fits on there. And it goes directly over my desk when I'm packaging. And 500 would be really good. However, I've been in touch with them and they said they could arrange a courier to send them back. Or... Could I use it and take a 20% discount? Well, it's normally only £2 cheaper for the three rolls of 500 mil. So I thought, yeah, I'll take that because it's about 15 quid off. Uh, no, it isn't. No, it isn't. Seven. About seven pound off. So I said, yeah, uh, but I've, <laughs> I've had to make one of these because to get the rest of it in the loft, I'm going to have to unravel some onto that. And uh, so this lot's been on here. You'll have seen it at the back of me on videos for ages. So it's prompted me. I've got to do something with that. So there's probably a good result at the end of this. And I've measured that and I will get a 500 mil on there, I think. Uh, if it's not too fat to go back to the wall. So, yeah, next job. Morning. It's Thursday. It's 10. No, it's not. It's about 10 to 10. Busy day today, I've still got my jammers on. Uh got up about an hour ago. Well forty five minutes ago. And I've been to um have my cup of tea and whatever. And then uh yeah, busy day, it's auction day today, that starts at ten. I've got some posts to go out because I didn't do a post yesterday, so I think I'm about six or seven to go out this morning. Uh including the Happy Land Zoo, so uh, that's the first one out. I've only listed three and one's gone. So two to take in the loft, uh, one to package up and then some other stuff to package in between doing auction lots. So if I win anything, I'll let you know. Well, it's 10.50, so I've been on the auction for 50 minutes. I had a job getting it to connect because I'm usually uh, connected about 15 minutes before and just sit watching a blank screen waiting for it to go live. Uh, but I went in the loft because I thought, oh, I've got 15 minutes um, before it starts. And it usually connects really quickly. So I'll go in the loft and I'll get, oh, God, that neck. Uh, I'm putting it up here. <laughs> uh, I thought I'll go in the loft and fetch my stuff. So um, I missed lot one, So they, but it didn't sell. It was passed. So it was just some uh, sort of uh, AB... Uh, crystal necklaces and stuff so i might ask and see how it goes because i've seen before where they say see me after auction if if things didn't go so i don't know i might ask them when i go up uh that's a learning curve i don't know whether they'll just go up now uh or whether they're open to it so we'll see uh but i did win 11 lots all cheap lots all costume jewelry so there was one lot i particularly fancied which was uh, to got some amber bits in it and um if you're watching well done <laughs> because it went up to 75 uh and i'd i took it up to 70 um its estimate was about 25 i think uh so i went up to 70 and then i thought now i'll pull out because once you've had a commission on it's 100 quid so it's probably worth it but not something i want to be paying out at the minute for um i think they were about five items on it i didn't want to be paying that out at the minute so it's just that you have to set yourself uh, a max that you're spending uh, and that's it anyway 
out of the 11, seven were on my list to bid on. Um, sorry about my finger there. Uh, and five um, were lots that, uh, no, four, that's 11, isn't it? Four were lots that he came up and he just went, I'm going to do this, I'm not going any lower. So I was bidding five pound on one lot, 10 on another. Um, I can't see it at minute, but cheap figures anyway. So in total, in 50 minutes, without leaving the house, uh, I've spent 117 plus commission. So there'll be about another £30 on top of that. So we're averaging at, uh, it'll total about uh, 117, let's, let's round it up, uh, 144 about uh 14 pound a lot ish if my maths is all right uh so some for five some for 15 whatever so yeah i'm happy with that this morning um there was a gap in between a couple of the lots so that's why i wanted to fetch everything down because in that gap i've been doing my packaging up so i want to get on with that and uh get my bath running so i can get dressed and uh get off up to auction house and we'll have a look what we've got i'll pick one lot out later and we'll have a look on this vlog <laughs> right here we are I've got me uh they come on trays so i have to stand there and put them all on bags and uh, i would have filmed it showing you me doing it but my husband will be helping me so this is it there was <laughs> one of these in it might come in handy Jewelry hanger. Anyway, um, shall I pull one lot out? There's a bit big. Oh, I'll pull this little lot out and have a look. Uh, lot 11. I'll try and stick the lot numbers on so I know how much I've paid for them. So lot 11 was £10 plus fat, so 13 in total. It cost me 145.56, so it shows you 30%. That's because uh, there's extra for bidding online as well. So, uh, £13 for this. Let's have a look. So. Keep them all out. Shall we start with the boxes? Right, I've turned you round. I think it might be a bit easier this way. That's... That's a bit better. A bit less of the polos. <laughs> um, I got this box out, says Social Gallery. On the back of the uh, brooch, uh, it says Roman. And it's pretty green enameled gold tone brooch in there. It's got all its stones. Yeah. It's got its stones. Um... I've just got out another goldsmith's box, but the only thing in there is um, one earring, which is quite a large uh, claw uh, and a pearl on there, or faux pearl uh, and a brooch, which has got no name, but it's quite a pretty and a nice size leaf. So that should cover me £15 with those two, I think. Um, empty? What should all these be empty? I don't know. Let's have a look. Oh, it's a nice box. Um, Echo Jewellery. 1 20th rolled 9 karat gold. Uh, it says on the box, but now let's have a look at the, oh, it's got string, oh, let's have a look, um, Echo, made in Canada, that's the string that would have been on it, I suppose, a little gift card in it, let's have a look, oh, it's a little gift card from Echo Dora. I wish it said flower brooch. <laughs> that would have been better. 
Oh. Pretty lapel brooch. Oh, another brooch. I'm quite happy so far with these. Um, I'm going to have to risk having polos in my eyes because I can't see. Let me do it like this. How's that? Oh, that's better because I can... I can see you without the polos. I can hold it down there when I want to look at it. Um, oh, this is very unusual. Oh, it's got a name on. Bear with. <laughs> a and S. That that wooden saw you. How pretty is that? You see the enamelling around it? It's like um sort of coppery gold lots of different tones in it yeah how oh, pretty is that i'm thinking a and s will be out wooden so yeah somebody can let me know if i'm wrong but that's going to need good lighting to photograph that but that's really really oh i'm happy yes it is nice when the first lot you pull out you're happy with. No doubt there will be more because um, more lots that I pick out that I'm not actually that happy with because um, I just bought them on a whim. I'll uh, tell you which ones. Was this one on a whim? Let's have a look. Number 11. No, this one was on the list. Um, I've got a filigree metalwork. Um flower filigree metalwork flower with no name it's a nice big one isn't it mm. nearly dropped it yeah, no name on that, but it's a 3D flower. Silver tone. No, no markings at all. No breaks in it, I can't see. Yeah, look at that. I'm going to have to find a better way of showing you these holes, aren't I? This is nice. Uh, gold tone. Oh, it's like Grandma would have worn this. It's very 50s style. Uh, just a ring of pearls. I'm glad that this is nearly all brooches, though. Oh, this has got a few stones missing. Yeah, which is a shame. God, it's a bit dusty on the inside of this. Uh, I can't see any. Can't see any name. There's a, it'll go in a broken lot. Somebody might be able to mend that. Um, the size of that's like the definite 50s. Uh, or earlier, actually. Um, hmm, it's booby. Um, any markings? No. Mm, this is a... Now, this looks like somebody's had a go at it. This looks like in there it should have had pearls or something. Um, and they just don't look... Those lumps stuck on the top just don't look like they suit. That brooch at all, do they? Terrible. Yeah. Yeah, 
one is just stuck something else. What a shame because that would have been nice with some pearls around it. Um, or some, some more AB stones. Uh, a few missing. Couple of stones missing on that one. Well, so I'll start a broken jewellery lot. This is an old sea clasp. Pretty. Very, very lightweight that. And there's no no names on that one. But that's a pretty one. I'll sell for a fiver. Uh, another big Oh, I've sold one of these sort of 50s style before. Uh... <laughs> yeah, not in, not enamoured by those. Yeah, not I mean enamoured by that style really. Yeah, not at all. Oh, another sparkly and it's actually got it's got a safety pin on this one so it's a c clasp c clasp but with a pin um, yeah just glass Can you see any missing? How sparkly is that? Oh, lovely. Um, all AB stone. Oh, one missing. Oh. Gutted. Oh, it's got a name on. I think it's Hollywood. Oh. Yeah, Hollywood. Oh, what a shame. From there, look. Ooh. China one. It's blocking the light. Oh, can't see any. I'm not sure if it's nibbles off the end of the. Um, Petals. You know, off there. Uh, da, da, da. There. Sorry, it's going to be a bit patchy. This I'm rubbish at this showing stuff. Uh, I've got another. It's like mesh. Silver tone uh, mesh. God, it looks filthy, doesn't it? Look at that. Wow. Oh, so it's a, a pendant or brooch. There's no, yeah, no markings on it, but it's got like a pendant bit. Or you can know it's a brooch. I might soak it and see if it comes clean because something about that, a little bit of fly. Um, little flower looks like it's had a replacement stone. Two or three of the stones look slightly different colours to the other, so unless it's the fixative inside or not, but I'll put that I'll put that in my uh, broken lot. Somebody can harvest it. Oh, a fish still on its um, still on its card. Wonder if there were a price. Oh, it's not. I can't see. Yeah. Oh, 
Those flowers. Pretty there, brooches. Enamelled gold tone brooches. Um, this is like a, a ceramic one. Gosh, it's got the tiniest little clasp. Does that need sorting out? I'll have a look at class later. Uh, oh, some sort of mark on this. Oh, it's full silver hallmarks. Lion. Are you lion? Can't see it totally. Lion anchor. Uh, is that C D or a copyright in D? Right, hold mark and Oh god. Even with four times loops not working, is it? Forty times. Right, let's hope that glass works when I look at it. Uh so that's art silver. Um, what's this? Buckle? Some sort of buckle, I think. That's a buckle. Uh, pretty maple leaves. Any marks? No. No marks. Ah, another... Uh, oh. Oh, so this is a set. That's nice. That's nice. Brooch and earrings. Oh, I'm happy with that. So, I've got... Uh, one more. Oh, and something... Oh, there's a couple more in my up. Right, one, two, three more, and then something a bit different. Uh, this one is, oh, that's old. It's got the trombone um, clasp on. Trombone clasp. Pearls around the edge. Um... And a miniature. Looks like a miniature inside it. Miniature painting. Well, there's actually a signature on that painting. God, if I can see that, it's going to be a miracle. G R I double S. Oh, just can't see the very end of it. Oh, filthy. Absolutely filthy. Um, I can actually see that it's not a miniature painting, but it's a print. Uh, and I can see that from the dots. Um, they look like little, little hexagons with spots in the middle uh, for the colour. Uh, don't mean to say it's not an old print. Uh, Honeycomb. Anyway, grease, grease something. That one. It's got that trumpet, not trumpet, trombone clasp. Uh, uh, right, so I've got this one, which is a. Uh, something was on it, was stuck on it at some point, but is no longer. So that can go in my broken lot. Uh, one final little brooch. So, I've got this little turtle. This is the, the last brooch and uh, it's silver tone. Um, he's walking along, bless him. He's got some legs up, some down. Uh, but it looks like um, 
looks like turquoise. <laughs> looks like turquoise with sparkly eyes. Um, Hmm. So, some pretty uh, vintage brooches here, and then the only other thing in this lot for me £13 is a, a, a mirrored, well, a compact mirror. Um, handbag mirror. That's it. <coughs> so, out of that, I've got one, two, that's set for fish, so that's three, so four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. How was that empty? Thirteen. Fourteen. Fourteen items. So, uh, plus the need repairing ones. So, less than a pound an item. Happy with that. Thank you all for dropping by. I hope you've lasted the half hour. Thought I'd do a bit longer one this time for people that like the little snippets. And uh, look where I've still got on the thing to do. That's that's what I moved from uh, from where my bubble wrap is. Oh, God knows how long that'll be there now. Thank you all for watching. And thank you to Jean for your purchase from my shop. Uh, much appreciated and a lovely message. Thank you ever so much, love. And I'll see you soon. Take care. Stay safe. Love you all. Bye.